what is the difference between words and tokens in natural language processing how different tokenizers treat the same sentence in a different way to generate tokens let's see in this video with some examples so what we are going to do is we are going to take some um, hugging face auto tokenizers and try to understand how tokens are getting generated okay so first of all if you don't have transformer module you need to install that and i will not run this because i already have transformers and this ipy widgets is just for uh, um, demonstration just for visualization so don't worry about that just the transformer is needed okay after that i'm just going to uh, suppress my warning so so that i don't get a lot of warnings and i'm going to import auto tokenizer from transformers i'm sure most of you are aware of this auto tokenizer from transformers and what we will be doing is we will be using different different models and see how tokens are getting generated so first of all i am going to define a sentence through which i will generate my token so my sentence here is my name is aman okay so if i want to generate tokens of this then how many tokens should be generated the first thing that should come to your mind is number of tokens how many tokens will be generated so how many words i have one two three four five and including this right six so actually this should be six tokens if i go by word per token method but i'm going to tell you more about it in a moment but it's not always word per token so each word is not a token let me show you that so first of all i'm going to use a model called roberta base and i'm going to run this on my sentence okay so i have run this and the first thing that is going to happen is it is going to generate an input id for all the words of my sentence and that is my token ids and if i print this token ids right you will see that it has assigned the id to all the words of my sentence okay so for example here i was expecting one two three four five and six so six numbers should be here but here you are able to see eight numbers what is the reason for that the reason for that is it is adding two additional tokens to your sentence what are those two tokens let me try to show you so if i want to show you the tokens here you can see i am running a for loop on token ids first token is this second last token is this and then as expected hi my name is aman explanation okay so all these things are one one token here so i am giving six word but the token i am generating uh, the uh, length of the tokens i am getting is eight because it is adding one in the beginning one in the end but remember it is still very simple way of doing tokenization because it is basically generating one token per uh, word but normally tokenization is not done like this let me show you some complicated sentences and how the tokenization will be done for that so i am going to write a text here where i will write some things knowingly for example tokenization testing hello comma world then some symbols then python then this then namaste hindi word some different languages words okay then punctuation white space some mathematical functions many things i have put here because i want to show you how tokenization work based on different different methods okay so let me have this text text first when when i convert this into tokens right you will see how it is changing so i'm going to paste a piece of code here don't worry about this what this code will do is it will simply give you all the tokens of any given uh, input sentence so for example in my my sentence is this right this sentence so i am just trying to compare tokenizers from between different tokenizer models so if you see here i am taking four different models bird base says roberta base digital bird base un 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 uncased and xml roberta base okay so this is basically cased and uncased and what this code will do is it will tell me that for this particular word this is uh, text this is the same text that we have written above how many tokens are generating number 1 what are those tokens number 2 and how it is looking different so let me try to run this and show you how it is working so as you can see here my original text is this fine when i am using bird base cased you can see 106 tokens are getting generated on roberta base you can see 141 tokens are getting generated on distilled bird uncased you can see 99 tokens are getting generated 
on XML Robot database, 89 tokens are getting generated. So based on four different models, right? Uh, the count of tokens itself is changing. Now, not only count of tokens, but also how the tokens look like. So for example, let us see this first one. Here, I am starting from here, right? Tokenization testing, hello world. If you see the first line only, we will see. So tokenization has been broken into three things here. Testing has been broken into three things here. Then this thing comes, then hello comes, then comma comes, then world has been splitted again. And then you see two times UNK, UNK means unknown, unknown. Those are for these two symbols, okay? The same first line, let's see how it has been done in below model. So as you can see, tokenization again broken, testing little bit broken, hello world, and then some symbols are there, okay? So a different way of basically generating token. Here, tokenization is broken, but uh, beginning of the word is not here. For example, here there was C, right? There, there is no beginning of the word. Tokenization is broken. Hello is not broken. World is not broken. But some of the words are broken. Okay. So this is again a different way of tokenization. And if you see XML robot database, right? Tokenization. So these are three different tokens. T-S-T-I-N-G, different tokens. Hello, different tokens. World, different tokens. So basically different ways of generating tokens based on based on what based on how the training has happened for these models for example if i go to bird based cased model right so if you come to bird based cased model on hugging face page right you will see that the models training right the models training has happened on the text are tokenized using word piece so what is word piece Word piece is a uh, strategy of tokenization. So there could be different strategies of tokenization. Word piece is one of those strategy of tokenization. So what are the different strategies of tokenization? Not everything, but some of these I have listed here. So for example, uh, if I have to show you what are the different uh, ways of doing tokenization or different strategies of doing tokenization, right? So as I told you, the in the previous world, right, there was uh, one token for one word that is not nowadays we don't use it. But normally word tokenization is one way, sub word tokenization that is word piece that, that is being used now in this model, right? That is basically sub word. So it will not be word by word, it will be sub word. Then there are different techniques in that unigram BP, then there is byte level tokenization. So there are many, many ways of doing it. But in general, if I have to give you a rough high level understanding, right? I can simply tell you what tokenization is very simple but ineffective for deep learning models. Old technique you can think of. Sub word tokenization, which includes BP, word piece, unigram, is best for modern NLP. So, this is one of the way that this model is also using. Byte level tokenization, GPT 3T5, is flexible for diverse languages. So, sometimes you work with multi different kinds of languages, right? That is where this is used. Choosing a tokenizer will depend on the task. What is that you want to do? which is the language you are dealing with, what is the end goal you are trying to achieve, right? And some examples here, for example, BERT is using this, GPT is using this, T5 is using this, OCR is using this. So if somebody asks you the difference between words and tokens, you now have a very good understanding and never say that words and tokens are same, okay? These are always different. And how the tokens will be generated will mostly depend on how, which model you are using, which underlying strategy that particular model is using. So with this small video, I wanted to give you an understanding of how tokens are generated and how you can think about tokens when you work with large language models and NLP. Please give me a thumbs up guys if you like these kind of content. I will see you all in next video wherever you are. Stay safe and take care.